I think it's very important to understand that our brains are plastic. Um, they are plastic throughout our lifetime. They change in terms of their function, their connectivity, um, and even in terms of, of their structure. And they're particularly plastic when, when we're younger. Um, it is true that uh, genes make a, a major contribution um, to educational outcome. Estimates are around about half of the variance. Um, but it's important not to get too hung up on that. Um, what we are, the way we think, what we become as a result of education is very much as a result of the interaction between our genetic background and the environment um, that we experience, and particularly uh, education. And what we've found from talking to teachers about their beliefs um, is that those teachers who are particularly convinced about the importance of genetic background are also those who feel that there is less that they can do for children in the classroom. And I don't think there's ever going to be a case uh, for believing that genetics uh, provides um, support for the idea that we cannot remediate difficulties with children, that we cannot do something more for children in the classroom that takes them on further. There is never going to be um, a limit um, in terms of what children can achieve that is going to be defined clearly by their biology.